I go outside and I find Dave in patio and garden, but I'm like not really quite sure why he's there. Dave doesn't like to go outside. He mostly just plays video games and binge watches seasons one and two of Riverdale. So anyway, I tell him about cute weird guy and he doesn't get it. I mean, he, he just doesn't get what, what has just happened, what life event I have just missed out on. Eh. I try to explain to Dave that my life's happiness has just been totally upsized and that I need him to know that my life is now ruined. But Dave just tells me to chill and starts talking about patio furniture? What is happening? Dave just doesn't get what a gigantic moment this is for me. And that it's happening here, in a target. And Dave just doesn't see. Has he always been this blind? I immediately flash back to that sleepover at Shara's last month where I told Dave about my inner connection to Champagne Dreams Brut and Rose flavored gourmet gummies and he didn't even care. I mean, that is, that is so unlike Dave, but now I'm finding out maybe this is the real Dave. You know, the one who doesn't care about gourmet gummies or the fact that I just pushed away my one true love. Do I even have any friends? Has my whole life been a sham? And then it happened. Cute weird guy is back. And when I say back, I mean he found me. Like he looked for me. And our target is a big ass store. I mean, you can lose somebody in there for like days. I once heard about somebody who lost their baby in there for like seven hours. I don't think that story is true, but it's all that I can think about when I'm staring at cute weird guy. But for some reason, the first words that come out of my mouth are not about missing babies at all, but instead I just look at him and I say, hey, hey. Hey, and like, that's all I say. And I think to myself, did I literally just say, hey? I mean, I have a vlog and I talk to millions of people every day for hours about nothing. And yet when a cute weird guy stalks me in a huge ass store, all I can think of to say in response is, hey. <sighs> Seriously, you guys, I don't think I even deserve you as subscribers. That is how stupid I felt. Okay, but, and so this is unbelievable, but he goes, hey. Yes! I am not making this up. I mean, it's like we were meant for each other. And, and right at that moment, his hey and my hey were like two beautiful, heartfelt words floating around in space, just waiting to interconnect in a meaningful and fulfilling teenage relationship. Punch, drunk, love, I don't know what it means, but I am feeling something that I think I shouldn't. Punch, drunk, love, haven't been drinking, but I'm dizzy, not from Adderall, I'm tipsy from the intoxication. Hitting me in the face and I will not retaliate. I'm much too gentle. Punch, drunk, love, taking me by surprise. And I am completely freaking out. I'm reeling from the inebriation of love. He'll be the one I'll be scared to have sex with, but he'll stay supportive and true. Love, I don't know what I'm doing, but it feels so good to do it. Why stop now when he's right here? I'm pretty sure he'll be my boyfriend. What's to stop us from our life together as we take on the world? We'll live our lives online.
just him and me and eight million others how happy we'll be in a world where we share everything we do everything we say is noted and cataloged liked and rated comments are welcome our futures prorated punch drunk love maybe i want to drink his coolness that's disgusting but you get my meaning this target boy is fine and me and him will live our lives online so basically what happens after we both say hey is that he asks me my name and you know i tell him kitty bennett kitty bennett you know, like in the totally cute way that I say it. And I'm thinking maybe he recognizes my name because I have 8 million followers and like 18 million fans, but he doesn't say anything. And I already know his name. So then I'm just like trying to think of something cool to say. And, and so I go, you want my digits? You want my digits? And then he goes, yeah. <laughs> so like I give him my phone number and then we're both just standing there. And so I go, bye and then he says bye and and i'm just thinking this guy is totally weird you guys but then he texts me the next day what oh my god i'm going out on a date with cute weird guy i what what am i going to wear what am i going to wear Holy shit, i just been to Target and I didn't buy any cute new outfits? There was only one thing to do. Grab Jenna and Dave and go back to Target to get cute new clothes for date with Cute Weird Guy. I haven't slept, I haven't slept, I think of him. I'm so excited, I can hardly shop online. Should I wear the hippie flower sleeveless? I haven't slept, I haven't slept, I gotta pee. I wonder where he'll take me for our first hello. My skin is breaking out while I'm speaking. Hormones raging. And I don't care if it's Panera Bread or Arby's. Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell, or even Harvey's. Who gives a fuck, I'll take a bagel with cream cheese. TV. Shakes and fries at Planet Hollywood. We split the mushroom burger and the key lime pie. He tells me he is strictly vegan. Dude, did you just not eat that burger? I guess he doesn't know quite what a vegan is. I somehow find this charming, but I grow concerned. He isn't like the boys in high school. But I like him And I don't care that he is trained and somewhat scary And that he's weirder than my crazy sister Mary But he's not really vegan 